close your eyes, and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breath, where you can stay focused on the sensation of the breath. Keep your awareness right there. Don't let it go wandering off after the sound of the, the crows, the sound of the people around you. Thoughts of past and future, just stay right here with the feeling of the breath and the body. And allow the breath to be comfortable. Now to do this, you have to give it your full attention. This is an important principle in the practice, is that if you give just a little bit of attention to something, you're only going to get a little bit of knowledge and only scattered results. But if you give something your full attention, then you learn all about it. So for right now, this is where you're going to look for happiness. You're not going to look for it anywhere else. As the Buddha said, one of the principles of true happiness is that if you see that you can gain a greater happiness by letting go of a lesser happiness, you should be willing to let go of that lesser happiness. But most of us are not like that. We want to have the big happiness and all the little happinesses too, thinking that they'll all add up to a lot more. But it doesn't work that way. If you go for the little happinesses, the big happiness just gets lost. So you've got to make up your mind. What's the really most important thing you want in life? And you stick with that. You want true happiness, a happiness that doesn't change, a happiness that doesn't leave you. And that's why we have to develop the mind, because it's only through the developed mind that you can do that. Now, in developing the mind, that means you have to let go of some other things. And this is what restraint is about. And this is what the Buddha says, a sense of virtue and holding to your principles. There are certain things you simply will not do. You'd be ashamed to break your principles, and you see the, the bad results that would come from breaking your principles. So no matter how much you may want to do those things, you say, no, no, no. And then you give yourself a better happiness so that you don't feel tempted to go slipping back to your old ways. And this way you train the mind so that it doesn't create trouble for itself. Because we think we'd like to have beauty, wealth, power. But what happens? People get beauty and they abuse it. They get wealth, they abuse it. They get power, they abuse it. What you really want is a well-trained mind. You want a wise mind, so that whatever comes your way, you don't abuse it, and it doesn't abuse you. You get the best use out of it for yourself and for the people around you. And so the happiness that comes from a trained mind is a reliable happiness. That's the kind of happiness you want to focus on. As for the other pleasures in life, if they come in the midst of your practice, then they're fine. But as long as they don't pull you away from the practice, that's the important thing. As they say at the end of your life, when you look back and you, you don't regret not spending more time in the office, but you will regret not spending more time training the mind, because that's when you really need it, when the body's falling apart and you don't know where you're going to go. You want to have a good, solid place inside that you can take as your refuge. So this is the kind of happiness that will see you through not only ordinary, everyday ups and downs, but also aging, illness, and death. This is why it's a happiness that it's worth focusing on, worth giving it your full attention. And as for any other pleasures that get in the way, you have to say, well, no, not this time around. That way your true happiness will be secure, and you will get a larger happiness. Happiness doesn't come in little units that you can add up, because sometimes the lesser happinesses will get in the way of the big one. So you want the big one. As for what other le lesser happinesses can come along with the big one, that's fine. But you want the big happiness of a trained mind. That should always be your top priority.